The CCP virus has spread globally. The Chinese regime's goal is to reverse their negative image by exporting medical supplies to Spain and other countries suffering from the pandemic. However, these medical supplies sold have been found effective. These countries have now requested to return these low-quality products. The thermometers in this video are hollow inside, with parts missing, but still display a normal body temperature. Netizens find this unbelievable and can't imagine the further damages these would cause worldwide. Another netizen exposed the following. Jiang Zhuangdong, the owner of Haofeng Electronic Technology Co. Limited in Guangdong, suggested that manufacturers should produce fake thermometers to sell to the U.S. In a WeChat group of iBank Thermometer Industrial Resource Exchange Group 3, he said, let their body temperatures be tested at 36.5 degrees Celsius, which is 97.7 degrees Fahrenheit, even if they have a fever of 39 degrees Celsius, which is 102 degrees Fahrenheit, in order to get more of them infected and see how Americans can spread the disease. After this conversation was doxxed, he claimed that he was just being patriotic. As the CCP virus pandemic continues to spread globally, even more exported medical supplies from China have been found effective. On March 24th, the Czech Republic news site Aktuanie reported that the kits sent from China were 80% effective. On March 26th, according to Spain's health minister, Salvador Ila, 9,000 virus test kits sent from China to Spain were 70% effective. On March 27th, AIDS Cara, the Turkish health ministry official said, the batch of testing kits from China were only 30 to 35 percent accurate. Philippines Department of Health's Undersecretary Maria Rosario said, Among the first test kits donated to us by China, only 40 percent were accurate. We did not use them because the accuracy rate was low. On March 28, the Netherlands announced it had recalled around 600,000 masks that had arrived in the shipment of 1.3 million purchased from a Chinese manufacturer a week earlier. European Union Minister of Foreign Affairs Joseph Borrell said, We must be aware there is a geopolitical component, including a struggle for influence through spinning and the politics of generosity. Armed with facts, we need to defend Europe against its detractors. With an increasing number of CCP virus infection cases, New York State has now become the most affected state in the nation. New York's shortage of medical supplies is dire, yet aid from corporations and other regions are arriving. On March 26, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo thanked Huawei on Twitter for their mask donations. Cuomo also told reporters during an Albany briefing, We have ordered 17,000 from China ventilators that we would pay for roughly $25,000 each. On the same day, however, his brother, CNN anchor Chris Cuomo, tested positive for the CCP virus.